Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another current household. Looks like we're starting off today's current household with quite a big event going on because Archie here is aging up into an elder dog. Archie is going to look so much older now. But there we go, look at him, he's starting to turn grey but he's still super cute. But today I'm back with the Evans family and we are going to be playing with them in today's video to celebrate Winterfest with them. I thought I would do it as a bit of a Christmas special on my channel as I am uploading this video on Christmas Eve in real life so I thought it would be nice to post a cosy Christmas video celebrating it with my sims. I decided to play Christmas with the Evans because this save file was a save file where it was coming up to Christmas time so I thought it would be the perfect time and the perfect family to play Winterfest through with. A quick recap on this family, I did do a current household introducing you guys to this family a few weeks back on my channel. So if you would like to watch that video before you do watch this one then I will leave it as a card at the top of the screen. However you won't miss out too much as I will do a little bit of a recap of each of the characters. But more than anything the other current household is just going back in time so if you would like to see everyone a bit younger and and doing different things then I would advise watching that current household first but if you just want to be here for some cozy Christmas vibes then this one is gonna be for you. This here is Amber, she is the founder of the Evans family, the first sim that I did play with with this household. She's currently eating some breakfast this morning before she does get on with doing some Winterfest baking and that coming in is her husband Sebastian who is not looking too happy right now I just think he is super hungry this morning but he is going to get himself ready for the day today and I think he's going to take Archie out on a walk. He is feeling tense from it being cooped up so I'm sure that he is going to want to get outside for a walk this morning. In the last current household these two were adults and now they are elders and they have just aged up into elders so hopefully they still have some time to live because I do dislike it when my sims pass away. <laughs> but I'm going to get Amber to stop dancing to some Winterfest music for now as she has a lot to do this morning. First things first is I'm going to turn the thermostat on because it's very cold in the house this morning and I will quickly get Sebastian to get changed and he can take Archie out on a walk. So we'll go ahead and we will just go on a short walk around the neighbourhood. Looks like Buddy wants his litter box clean so I'll get Amber to quickly do that. These two sims won't be the only sims that we are going to be playing with in today's video because Amber's daughter Faith is actually going to be coming home for Christmas with her boyfriend Ren and their son Mateo. So we will be seeing them in today's video too. They're going to be arriving at noon today. Whilst Amber waits, she is going to do a bunch of cooking and baking ready for Christmas. So first things first is I think we should make some of the sweet foods. And the first thing that she is going to make is a winter cake. And then I think she's going to make some cookies as well. So we will start by making one of them. One of Amber's favourite things to do is cook for events. She absolutely loves cooking along with gardening and collecting all the produce for it as as well. She has maxed out her cooking skill and is working on her gourmet cooking skill and her baking currently. One more thing I should probably mention about this save file is that I actually play with barely any custom content or mods. I currently have one mod that I play with in this save file which is a calendar mod that just allows me to have extra icons on the calendar and I play with two pieces of custom content which is my skin blend to replace the default skins and also as well my eye presets which change the default eye as well but other than that I keep it mod and custom content free just because when I started this save file that is what I decided to do just for a bit of a change and a switch up from my usual gameplay and since then I've just kept it that way so when I do come on this game I just take my mods out and I have been really enjoying it it's really nice to play a save file where it is just kind of the vanilla game and if you haven't done it yourself I would definitely recommend giving it a go 
Amber has finished the winter cake now though so let's move on to making some cookies. Would it be Christmas without some chocolate chip cookies or some sugar cookies? So Amber's going to bake some of them and keep them for everyone to enjoy later on today. She also has a bunch of food that she wants to prepare for tomorrow as well and for this evening so hopefully she'll be able to get everything done in time. As for Sebastian, he is still out making Archie on a walk. Looks like he's just arrived back home actually. So he is going to come on inside, unleash Archie and then I think he's actually going to come outside over here before he does take his coat off and put up some decorations. For the eaves, I think that we will go for some classic red and green twinkling lights. And then on the fences, maybe let's go for something a bit different from what I usually do and I think I might actually go for either some icicles that could be quite fun or some snowflakes. I think I'm going to go ahead and go for the white snowflake banner so I'll get Sebastian to put them up. I'll quickly also give you a look at all of the Christmas decorations around the house as well. We do have some Christmas cards over here, some mistletoe on the table with some candles. We also have some holiday crackers which we can open as well. In the living room we have some tinsel hanging up on the windows, some logs with some pine cones and candles and then we also have the Christmas tree over here too which we do need to decorate when all of the other family members do arrive. Also here is a quick look at the family photo wall. I did show it I think in my last current household of this family but it's definitely got a bit bigger since then. Also if it's your first time seeing this family here's a quick look at everyone when they were a bit younger. It's a very big photo wall though and would definitely carry on expanding it too. Sebastian is all finished with the house though, it's looking very festive now, we also have a snowman outside and some reindeer too. Now we fit in really well with the rest of the neighbourhood who also have all of their Christmas decorations up too. Faith has actually just messaged her mum and said congratulations on your recent birthday because <laughs> Amber did age up. However, I'm going to say that she has messaged to just say, hey mum, we're 15 minutes away, we're nearly here, see you in a bit. And I think Amber is going to say, see you soon honey, I'm currently baking and cooking in the kitchen so there's lots of yummy food for you when you arrive. Fast forward some time and look who has begun arriving. Faith has arrived, she has her suitcase with her. I think Sebastian is going to come over to Faith and welcome her, give her a hug. Hopefully soon Ren and Mateo will show up as well, I'm not too sure where they are right now. <laughs> Maybe they're currently back in the car but we'll say hello and we'll go ahead and I think he is going to ask Faith to relax. Just put your bags in your bedroom, we'll go ahead and do that for her, we'll put them in here, we'll just go ahead and and put them in the corner. It looks like Amber is coming over to welcome Faith as well. She's probably going to say, hi honey, happy Winterfest Eve. How's it going in Chestnut Ridge? As that is where she lives. I definitely think that Faith is going to say, it's going really, really well mum. We've recently just got a horse, a rescue horse called Willow. She's a bit stubborn, but we're getting there with her. But everything's going really well mum. Mateo's doing really well too. And look who's coming through the door, it's Ren, he has arrived. Amber's going to come over and welcome Ren as well. And we will just go ahead and we will ask him to relax too and just settle in. Sebastian's going to come out and say hello as well. We'll ask him about his day and we will share the Winterfest Eve spirit with him as well. I'm going to focus on these two for just a moment though. I think that Sebastian is going to say to Ren, he's going to describe a new idea and he's going to say to him, hey, do you want me to show you around? We can maybe head around town. I can show you around the place as you've never been around here before. So I'll get them to go ahead and form a group and they can head off together on a walk. And look who has just arrived outside. <laughs> Mateo has arrived. We'll go ahead and come and pick him up. Amber loves her grandson so, so much. We'll go ahead and pick him up and bring him inside. We'll come and sit down with him. And this is what Mateo looks like. As you can see, he looks so much like Ren, I think. Faith definitely seems very chilled out though. I can imagine she's probably quite happy that she can have a bit of a break from Mateo. Being a parent is a lot of hard work. So I think that she's happy that Amber is here to just look after Mateo for a little while. He is super cute though, Amber is just talking to him, telling him a story. 
let's go ahead and head out with these two now though they're walking together sebastian is probably just showing him around and saying over there's the golf course over there's the park maybe we could head over there together looks like buddy's coming along as well so they're going to take a walk and they're going to head over to the park area over here we'll get them to go ahead and come and sit together and i think actually i'm also going to get sebastian to come and order some hot cocoa as well at the winter food store unfortunately we can't order one for ren but at least we can sit together and sebastian can enjoy one for himself if he decides to come and pick it up <laughs> here he comes he's coming back so sebastian's gonna go ahead and sip on his hot cocoa and talk to ren they're gonna talk about fishing a bit as it's something they both enjoy maybe we can do a heartfelt compliment as well tell a funny story i definitely want these two to get their relationship up a bit more they're still acquaintances but they are getting closer to being friends i can't actually do it myself because i'm not controlling ren however one thing they are going to bring up whilst they're having a conversation is ren is gonna bring up the fact that that he is planning on proposing to Faith very soon. They're still boyfriend and girlfriend but Ren wants to go ahead and propose to Faith now. He feels like it is the right time to do so. So he's kind of just asking Sebastian's permission to marry Faith and Sebastian is probably going to be very happy about this as I think he really likes Ren. He thinks he's a great guy and he thinks that Ren and Faith make a perfect couple. He he is very fond of him. One thing I think that Sebastian is going to say in this conversation to Ren is that he actually really appreciates Ren coming to Sebastian to ask this question as Sebastian is actually Faith's stepdad. So for Sebastian there's always been a part of him. He feels like it's a bit out of line when he gets asked questions about Faith and the questions like this asked to him as he isn't her biological dad, he is her stepdad. However I do think that Ren is going to kind of reassure Sebastian in this conversation and just say to Sebastian that you know I had to come to you you've been a great father to Faith and she looks up to you so much and she speaks so fondly of you as her dad and I think she would really appreciate me coming to you to ask that question. I think too that Sebastian is actually going to go ahead and get up off the table and just give Ren a hug and just say thank you so much and I think Ren is also going to say well we better get heading home we need to still decorate the tree so i think we're gonna go ahead and get going sebastian is first gonna quickly use the bathroom because he really needs to go after drinking that hot cocoa ren is gonna head on back i think and sebastian will catch up when he does arrive back home I've just arrived back on home and Amber has her phone out, I think taking a picture of Matteo <laughs> because he has just reached a milestone. Faith is also looking very excited about that. He's not looking too happy though, I think he might be kind of tired. I think Amber is going to really want to give Matteo a bottle and put him to bed tonight and I think Faith would gladly take that offer up. <laughs> Meanwhile, Faith has headed to the kitchen to go ahead and put out all of the food that Amber did make earlier on. And off Matteo goes to sleep into dreamland <laughs> to get a good night's rest before Winterfest tomorrow. We'll soothe him to sleep and hopefully he does fall to sleep pretty quickly with no troubles. It's time for everyone to head into the kitchen because Faith has grabbed all of the food out of the fridge and put it onto the table. There is a nice spread of food to eat for dinner tonight. So Amber is going to do the honours of calling everyone to the mill and they can all sit down and enjoy a nice Winterfest Eve spread all together. Amber has grabbed herself some pasta, Sebastian has a cookie and Faith has some of the winter cake. And look who's also arrived in due time, Clement Frost, Father Winter has arrived too we'll go ahead and talk to him in just a second but these guys are going to all sit together and it looks like they've also put on a film to watch too and they're going to sit and eat their food all together and just probably have a chat i actually nearly forgot and it's 9 p.m we need to decorate the tree all together <laughs> so let's go ahead and actually get started on that because we're probably going to finish doing the tree by midnight at this rate it's going to take a few hours so we'll get started with ren and sebastian i think that faith is still in here just looking after mateo and then after we have decorated the tree it will most likely be time to head to sleep everyone is looking very happy though they're all kind of jumping around clapping <laughs> and laughing as well 
And now we just need to go ahead and put the star on top of the tree so we get everyone to do that together. We could put garland on but I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that because everyone is getting very tired now and we should probably head to sleep ready for Winterfest tomorrow. And there we have it, the tree is all complete. It's looking very festive, it definitely ties in very well with the decorations. I think though it's time for everyone to start heading to sleep now. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to replace the sink first of all. <laughs> and then take a shower, we'll head to sleep. Amber is also feeling very tired now as well. I'm not too sure if Clement Frost is going to leave anytime soon. Amber is going to get changed into her PJs, they are kind of Christmas themed with the deers on them. And then I'm going to go ahead and get her to place the present piles under the tree ready for tomorrow for everyone to open on Winterfest. We go ahead and add a couple more just to fill the tree up at the bottom as well. Looks like Archie wants some attention, we give him a hug and say goodnight to him before we do head to sleep. Everyone has now headed off to sleep though, Faith and Ren have fallen asleep and so has Mateo in his crib too. Along with Amber and Sebastian, they are all now sound asleep but we'll catch up with everyone in the morning when it will be time to celebrate Winterfest. Everyone's up bright and early, it's Winterfest, happy Winterfest everyone. I'm gonna get Amber to come in here and just freshen up, she's gonna get dressed for the day, along with Sebastian as well. He has a nice Christmas outfit to wear today. We actually have overflowing laundry this morning though, so I'm gonna get Amber to quickly go ahead and wash the laundry. Mateo is here on the floor, he is not looking too happy right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up. Faith is up this morning as well, I'm gonna go ahead and get Sebastian to come over to her and give her a hug and say happy Winterfest. We'll also turn on the Christmas music this morning too. It's 9am though and I think it's time that we go ahead and open presents all together. So let's all gather under the tree and we will open up the presents all together and we can see what everyone is going to get this year. It looks like Bren is going to go first. It looks like he didn't get something good. Oh no. <laughs> well that was a bad present present for Ren. Let's see if Faith got a good present. Unfortunately we won't be able to see what they got but it does look like she did. On to Amber. Let's see if she's going to get something good. It looks like she did too. And lastly Sebastian is going to open his gift. And let's see did Sebastian get a good gift too. It looks like he did. Amber got a all-in-one powerful PC, so I'm guessing for Winterfest she did ask for a PC, most likely to replace this one that they do have on their desk. And Sebastian got the perfect gift that he could get. Sebastian is really into handiness and logic and things like that, he does have the nerd brain aspiration and he got a bunch of upgrade parts and that's perfect for him because he really loves handiness and repairing and upgrading things around the house so that was perfect for him I've also jumped into build mode just to see what Amber did get and she got this PC and this will definitely definitely upgrade their one that they do have I'm assuming that was at the plan so we can go ahead and sell this one and we can now put this one on the desk I'll go ahead and change the color just to match the last one as well perfect presents for them they are really really perfect <laughs> But there we go, all the presents under the tree are now all cleared and everything has been opened. I think though it's time we start working on the grand mill and we've also had a mishap by the looks of it in here with the washing machine. But that's not great. Let's clean out the spoiled food in the fridge and then we will cook a grand mill. I think we cook together with maybe Faith would like to help out. Her and her mum always used to make Winterfest dinner together when she was younger. So it's it's kind of like a tradition for them. So we're going to go ahead and make the tofurkey dinner because Amber is vegetarian. And then let's go ahead and come over here because it does look like we've had a big issue here with the washing machine. Let's go ahead and repair the plumbing. We'll go ahead and also mop this up as well because there is water everywhere and Archie's playing in it. What a chaotic Christmas that this is. Now we're going to have to go ahead and quickly give Archie a bath as well. 
and now Buddy's eating the trash as well. Let's head into the kitchen where hopefully it's a bit more peaceful where these two are cooking up for Christmas dinner. Faith is trying to prepare on the counter but I think she is struggling. <laughs> but Amber is over here mixing everything up, showing off her cooking skills. It also looks like Buddy actually is currently sick so I'm gonna have to take him to the vet after I do finish this episode. The turkey is looking good though. We do have some more guests coming over later this evening so I will definitely yeah, go ahead and put out the leftover tofurkey dinner for when people do arrive later on. Before we go ahead and call everyone to the meal, we do actually have some holiday crackers to open. So I will get Amber to open a couple of these and see what we will get inside. I wish the Sims could actually pull them together, that would be really fun, but unfortunately they can't do that. They can pull them alone though. It looks like we got a special collectible plushie and a joke on it as well. Looks like we didn't get anything in that one because Amber is not looking too happy it just looks like that one was broken but at least we did get one with a plushie inside of it we'll go ahead and check this out quickly that's super cool i think it is actually meant to be a turkey potentially one sim i know who would love these is definitely oscar from my maplewood legacy series he loves collecting void critters so i could definitely see him loving collecting these as well <laughs> we'll keep that over here for now i'm gonna get everyone to go ahead and come and sit down together ready to eat the Winterfest meal. Let's go ahead and get Amber to call everyone to the Grand Mill and everyone should hopefully come down and sit and eat some tofurkey dinner. There we go, pretty much a success. Looks like Faith is pretty impressed with herself and her mum's cooking. <laughs> hopefully Bren will come on over as well to come and grab some food. Looks like he's currently playing on the slablet. <laughs> we'll just have to pretend Bren was sitting there eating the tofurkey dinner too. It's quite hard to control sims when they do come over to stay. Mateo is awake and I'm actually going to get Sebastian to come over and ask to be introduced to Mateo because they actually don't know each other yet. And there we go, Sebastian has now met Mateo who unfortunately doesn't like him very much but we'll go ahead and cuddle him and comfort him and hopefully that will help get their relationship up a bit more. I think that Sebastian is actually going to stay inside and kind of bond with Mateo for a bit. Let's go and see what these guys are up to though. They are having a snowball fight out in the snow in the backyard or near the backyard I should say. Who's taking the next hit? It looks like Amber is going to throw one at Faith right in the face. <laughs> Definitely a great shot right there. Ren also then just got one back on Amber. That was a good shot but they are just aiming at each other's faces which are quite funny. Right in Ren's face there goes Faith and he's on the floor now. <laughs> They're playing a very brutal game of snowball fights here but they seem to be having a laugh about it so that's good. We'll have to start heading inside though soon as everyone is going to begin arriving. They're going to get here at around 6.30pm just to say hi and say happy Winterfest to everyone. Let's check up back on Sebastian and Mateo in here. I think looks like he's just reaching a milestone. We just got back in time by the looks of it. Is he going to reach a gross motor skill hopefully? Looks like Ren has come back inside. I think I missed it. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Mateo is now in the hands of Ren so we'll go ahead and get ready for later on this evening. I'm gonna get everyone to also get changed back into their outfits again as well just so then we can spend some time in our Winterfest outfits for a little bit longer. Here comes everyone though, they are beginning to arrive. This here is Annie, this is actually Faith's friend from high school, they're still really good friends. So Annie was probably coming into the kitchen to say hi to Faith. We also have Amber's really good friend Rain here. So we get Amber to come over and talk to Rain and of course we are also going to say to her to happy Winterfest. They can discuss work as well. I would like Amber to come over and talk to Rain's parents. I decided to go ahead and invite them too. They actually do know each other. They're just acquaintances but they did meet a few times when Faith and Rain were teenagers. So they're on good terms though. They do get on quite well so I think Amber is going to do a belly laugh and also we share Winterfest spirit. It's 9 p.m now though and what a lovely end to the day for Winterfest for just everyone to get together and just talk, eat some food. It's definitely a very nice way to end the day and I think these guys have all had a really nice day today too but I really think that everyone has had a really nice Winterfest. Amber got a new PC and Sebastian got a bunch of upgrade parts which I think he's very happy about. 
And next Winterfest, Mateo here is going to be a lot older, most likely a child or a teen. And I have a feeling we may have some more Faith and Ren babies by next Winterfest too, as these two do plan on having quite a big family. But that is where I'm going to be wrapping up today's video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. I had a lot of fun spending Winterfest Eve and Winterfest with the Evans family. I hope you guys did enjoy it too. I wanted to upload a cosy and Christmas themed video for you guys around the festive period. I'm also uploading this on Christmas Eve. So if you are watching this when I did post it, or if you are watching this just around the festive period, I really hope that you have a lovely rest of the the holiday season and I wish you all a Merry Christmas too. This is most likely going to be my final video of the year so I also just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has watched my videos this year and has supported my channel. I myself have had a lot of fun creating videos this year and I'm really looking forward to seeing what 2024 will bring for the channel and where we'll be with the channel next year and what kind of let's plays I'll have going, what kind of sims we will have on the channel but this year I've had a lot of fun with it and I hope that you guys have enjoyed it too. And I also want to say a big thank you for all of the comments you guys leave me. I love reading them, I love replying to them, they make my day so much and I really do appreciate it. But other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video, I really hope that you did enjoy it. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye!